in, in all the years of Ouija Radio and Bon Bondi is, has been like the most important building blocks as a musician that I could probably ask for. And here we are. And, and did you, uh, in deciding to come back from that, um, was there, I mean, at a certain point, was it just a matter of tours ending and you were ready to come back here? I mean, did you ever think about not coming back to Minneapolis? Or I guess, you know, was Ouija Radio on hold for two years? Was that Ouija Radio was. As a matter of fact, there's a record that we never put out that still hasn't seen the light of day that I left on the shelf done. And um, because I joined the Von Bondies, I was like, oh, I'll do it when I get back. But like, two years went by. And it's like, hmm. When I came back, though, I was, I was exhausted a little bit. I had to say that, that Von Bondi's had spent, you know, we kind of, you know, outdid, outdid ourselves to touring for two years, and everybody in the Von Bondi's seemed ready to start new things. I actually was exhausted and really, like, not wondering what I should do and if I should go back to school. I would, always had a knack for nutrition and biology, so I was thinking about going and registering here for the nutrition program. And I actually put a post about it on Facebook. And I was like, I think I'm hanging up my rock and roll shoes. And she responded to that and was like, I'm going to lock you in your basement with the guitar. No, it is. Or something like that. <laughs> it's like, I have to always make sure that it doesn't sound like I'm like creepy, soft, hostile. Stalking person. her. Yeah. You know, she, I said I would lock her in a room <laughs> with her guitar and slide trays of food under the... I mean, yeah, it still, sounds, it still sounds like I'm a creep. But I was like, no, It's kind of what no, they do in prison no. without the guitar, but... Yeah, like she would be in, in solitary. Well, why, why yeah. did you do that? Because I've known her since she was like 17 years old and I was 18 or 19, I don't know, and um, we just always played music separately, but I was like, you're not gonna do that. I was like, all right. I mean, what was it in? What what was your impulse though? Like, of hearing that she was going to give it up or considering it, like, was it you were like, was it just like that's not right? I just knew I mean, that. I mean, I've always enjoyed all the bands that Chrissy's been in. I've followed her through, you know, her whole, you know, musical career and everything. And so I was like, what? No, that's. And I was like, at some point, I'm like, you don't have a choice anymore. This is <laughs> sorry. This is you've already <coughs> laid out your plan. I mean, I've definitely had friends that you know have stopped playing music and everything, but the, I always do what I can to try and get them to keep playing. I mean, there's been so many of my friends that they'll quit, but then they'll come back, but then they'll quit, and you know. Um, but, yeah, I mean, they're just, we're, we're lifers. And I know you guys had, had you already done the birthday suits thing before no, that happened? No, actually. That happened while I was on home for a minute, and that was in like 2008. I was home from a tour, and Hideo had planned, he's like, when are you going to be home? I want to get you and Arzu in the studio to be on our record. Sing backup vocals. Sing yeah. backup vocals on a couple of songs. I was like, yes, Birthday Suits are one of my favorite bands. And I'd be honored. And with Arzu, yeah, that'd be really great. And of course, we were in the studio and we're doing this. And we kind of talked about jamming then. It would be months, maybe a year later, that I'd come home and put that post up on Facebook. Yeah. But well, that sparked something. And like when we were in the studio, actually, I was originally talking. I think that that one's one of the ones that we do. That's a short one. I think that's the right one. Um, I knew Christy was looking for a second guitar player for Ouija Radio, even because her keyboard player just quit. And I'm like, I'll come and see if it works or whatever. But then just never really yeah. happened. So originally, I was maybe going to join Ouija Radio. but. Um, so which song on here? Uh, I think that? track eight is like the short one that we do. Okay. Oh, no, that's. Oh, no. So this is you no, guys, is, no, what jacket. studio was it? This is the Devil's Workshop. Yeah. We take who what we choose, this is the way we yeah, stand. Sure. We give who what we know, this is the how we get. No matter <laughs> what they send, you it's know who so we choose. Yeah. And what like, were the lyrics? Do you remember? 
turf is telling us all I want to do. The turf is telling us like the we turf need to club. work harder. You know, it's Tadeo and Matthew. They're yeah. like cute little Japanese boys. Did you guys ever, did you ever get to do it live? Did you do? Uh, we didn't do that. Yeah. Never, they don't play that one live. We've done a different one that they do you, live. That yeah. Uh, it's a song about. It's our town. It's our scene. Yeah. It's ours. Ours. See, even if Hideo doesn't want sometimes us, sometimes Christy and I will be like, we've had enough drinks, so we'll just be like, Ugh. we get on stage <laughs> with him. And like, he usually invites us, but every so often we just <laughs> get on stage with him, like, we're coming up, up tonight. And so I was going to crawl through, because they played our boat show with us, I was going to crawl through this window and like make this big entrance. What I thought was a big entrance, but I realized I was probably just going to flop down and like have my skirt fly over my head. I was like, ah, I guess I should be classy <laughs> and just let them sing their song. Did you sing because you were in the front row and yeah, I was watching from behind? I was behind. looking for Arzu. There's been well, many I was, times I was where I'm like, like a creep. it's not right with that Arzu. I was watching the window. Arzu in the back room not noticing what's going on. Like, sucking down a drink. Like, oh, shoot. I should be over there. Yeah. Well, I wanted to be outside, too, because I knew we had to be inside that weird room that smelled like a foot. <laughs> <laughs> for, like, yeah, it was that rug. <laughs> and, um, our boat so, party smelled like feet. It did. It was this rug. It was the drum rug. Mm. It was from some thrift store. Yeah. Don't, don't buy thrift store rugs. Yeah. You can help it. They smell like feet. 